Welcome back to the channel everyone. We are out of the garage today sitting in my new Subaru Forester. I hope you didn't think I got like a WRX or something. I would never get rid of the ST, although it would be cool to have two. ST, WRX, but we bought a Forester Sport. It's a 2011 with about 90,000 miles on it uh, for a winter car because I don't want to drive the ST in the snow anymore. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Nick. We do Focus ST stuff. I have a 2014 Focus ST Silver. All kinds of mods. Cheap budget mods. So I hope you go back through. Uh, look at my channel. Go through my old videos. Figure out what we've done to the car so far. And stick around so that we can get some new stuff going. And as of right now, we're going to start prepping to put the uh, car in the garage for the winter. And then slowly do some things to it. Maybe while it sits in the garage. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing some stuff to this car. Um, it's not brand new. It's new to me, not brand new. This is my first time owning two cars, so it's exciting. Um, I definitely had to budget it into all the other stuff we're doing. Uh, we're currently working on our house, which is where most of my money goes, uh, fortunately, because I want to dump it into the ST. But I have to be an adult sometimes. But this is just a typical Forester Sport dad wagon. It's got four wheels and it goes. So, but we are gonna do some things to it. Definitely a wood trunk. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go back, check out my videos. I'm obsessed with putting wood trunks in vehicles. Don't know why, but I can tell you they are way easier to clean than if you have a fabric trunk. I'm not sure if they're easier to clean than if you have a plastic liner or a rubber one, but I can tell you a engineered hardwood floor is definitely easier to clean up, especially when you put crap in your car like I do. Some of the other things we're gonna do is probably put a navigation, touch screen, something right there, new speakers, cause these sound like crap. Other than that, it's pretty much gonna be the wife's car and family car, winter car. We're gonna keep the ST in the garage, keep it clean, keep it forever. But we're going to jump back in the garage. We're going to talk about some other stuff coming up. And uh, we'll take a little peek at the Subaru. So it's just a normal Forester. Nothing special about it. It's got new tires, dual tip exhaust. Sounds like a Subaru. Drives like a Subaru. Nothing special. It's not WX. It's not an STI. Someday. We will definitely do that someday. But definitely go back, check out some of my old videos, to see what we've done so far. That way you can see where we're going. But we are going to probably start with cleaning out the garage, getting rid of all of uh, this stuff. That's all stuff from our house. We're gonna get rid of that. We're probably gonna move some of this stuff so that I have space there. Cause as you can see, the car fits fine in the garage, but I would like to move it forward more so that I can keep the snowblower and stuff by the door so that I can get it out easy. Then we're going to prep, do some research, figure out what we need to do, what we need to get to winterize the car basically and leave it in the garage and hopefully it'll last. So I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I will post more videos throughout the week and then as the... Uh, season really starts to change we start getting some snow and maybe start seeing some salt is when we'll definitely prep the car and get it ready to sit in the garage i gotta do some research first i don't 100 percent know exactly what i'm doing it's my first time doing it but we'll get it in the garage well, this isn't to say that you can't drive your uh, st in the winter time i've done it for about three years now and everything is held up perfectly fine some of my older videos we had gone through and checked the car to see how it's held up uh, taking the blow off fell off the tires all that stuff to see how it's held up in the winter times and it's been great uh, I'll post a little clip and you can see we've driven around in the winter time. Uh, we hit somebody in the winter time and got the bumper fixed. But all in all, it was a really good car. I don't have that far to drive to go to work, the store, school, all that stuff. So it really wasn't a bad car in the winter. But I want this car to last, I'm going to say forever. Because right now that's how I feel and I want this car to last forever. So we're going to be using the Subaru for all of our winter stuff. And I'm going to keep this car pristine. And uh see how long we can make it last. 
I do have some stuff lined up for when it's sitting in the garage. I do want to replace the vinyl on the roof. I want to do something cool with that. Uh, I definitely want to maybe... I've been looking at RS style wings for the car. They're actually not that expensive. So I think that's something I can budget in there. This house stuff is killing me. It's taking up time and money. Money. Everything costs money. But we'll definitely budget in there. And we'll do some cool things. Even if they're cheap things. We are going to be doing some things to the car. We are not dead over the winter time. We're going to keep the focus alive. It'll just be in my garage where most of my videos are based because we live in New York and it rains every time I do a video. So I hope everyone hasn't gotten bored of whatever content I posted. Trust me, I would be doing a whole lot more things if I had the resources. But this is me, this is my garage. And this is what we work on. I don't know a whole lot about all this car stuff. I watch YouTube like you guys do. I get ideas. I go put my hands on it. I mainly break everything. So most of my videos are do this, fix that. But it's fun to learn. And this is what we're using to learn is our 2014 Focus ST. Now it is wicked fun to drive. We have an air intake. We have an exhaust. We have a bunch of cheap things that add absolutely no horsepower or anything at all, but look cool. So to me, it's definitely fun to drive. So if you guys stick around, we have some, I'm going to say fun content. It probably won't be overly entertaining, but it's something uh, I'm going to learn on and I'm going to share it with you. Uh, we'll probably go do some small things and have some fun with the Subaru. Dad wagon out there. It's really bright out there. Let's try not to bore you guys when we're doing house stuff. Um, I'm going to try to keep everything focused around the ST, so stay tuned. My next video, I bought, I bought some Back to Black. I really wanted to start trying some new products. Um, I don't know a whole lot about detailing. I'm definitely not going to detail my car to professional level. But I have noticed some of this stuff getting kind of dull. And I want to try this new stuff. I've been seeing it a lot online. I guess it's really good. There are some interior pieces we can do. Definitely some exterior pieces we can do. And I want to see how that works. And if it works well, there's a lot of plastic pieces on the Subaru that can have some freshening up. If you're new to the channel, stick around. If you've been on the channel for a while, thanks for hanging out. We're going to keep the content flowing. And I'm going to try to keep new things going on the car. But... Definitely stick around if you want to see how to prep your car for wintertime sitting in a garage. So you can criticize me for doing something wrong because I'm going to do as much research as I can in the next couple of weeks. Get everything I need to to properly put my car away and have it stay... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'll see you guys in the next video.